Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, um, but I'm by myself. I'm driving home from the grocery store and um, I don't know. I, I've been feeling very unmotivated lately, um, which is pretty common, I guess you could say. Um, Though you would think that I have a lot to motivate me right now, considering we are, I have to have everything we own packed up um, by the third week in August, uh, is when my husband is leaving. We are moving to Texas. Um, so I have to have everything we own gone through and packed up by that time and in all honesty I have uh, about four or five extra large or jumbo plus whatever vacuum seal bags filled with clothes um, I'm pretty proud of myself that I've gotten rid of quite a bit of stuff I, I just feel very unmotivated and like in a time that I should be very motivated because I'm I'm excited to move. I'm ready for a new beginning for myself and my family and you know to be around family that we don't really get to see very often. Um, I'm scared about a lot of things because I going to an area that I don't really know all that well. Um, yes, I have, we have a great support system out there, 100%. I know I don't have to worry about that, but, you know, um, I use cannabis as part of my, you know, medication. I don't use it all the time. But um, I'm trying to, you know, put more into my diet because it does help. It benefits and the longer I use it and, um, you know, over a longer period of time, the more it builds up in my system, just like any other medication, it works better. So I'm trying to incorporate that more so that I can get off of, you know, what's considered narcotic, even though uh, tramadol does not contain part of. It's not a narcotic, okay? Uh, it's not an opiate. But because people abuse it, just like any other medication, if somebody can get <sighs> dislike people. Cannot wait to move to the country. I hate the city. Anyways, um, as long as we are, I'm sorry, as long as there's somebody that's going to abuse it that can get a high off of it, which I don't really see how people can get high off of it, but whatever. Um, people are going to use it. They're going to use it for what it's not meant for, and, you know, that kind of screws the rest of us that need it, screws us out of getting it. So, I'm concerned with the fact that uh, cannabis is not completely legal out there. You can use CBD. And there's a car chase going on. That's wonderful. <laughs> this is LA for you people. San Fernando Valley. Um, between San Fernando Valley, Valley and Burbank. Ay, ay, ay. Um, anyways, um, Yeah, I'm concerned about it. Like I said, CBD is legal, but from the research that I've done and family members that I've spoken to, it is not legal to smoke it out there. Now, I'm fine with just ingesting it. Uh, I do vape. Uh, I do vape it. Um, I, I would rather, much rather, smoke the plant, but it's a stronger smell and what not, it's easier to just use this. Um, but it's not legal.
illegal to smoke out there. The plant matter. Um, and THC is not legal out there. Um, it is for medical purposes. However, from the research that I've done, you have to have a pretty severe ailment in order to get a license or permit or whatever to for THC. That being said, I do have my medication that works. However, like I said, I'm trying to get off of not off of the trauma at all, not completely off of it, but I'm trying to not have to switch to an opiate. So, per my doctor, with my doctor's uh, knowledge, I do wean myself off of it if I notice that it's starting not to work as well. I'll wean myself back down to like half a pill a couple times a day, and then I'll slowly start I'll slowly start using it and it, it that works for me been on it for several years about I think eight years seven eight years I've been on it um, so I've had to do that a few times um, so that I don't necessarily have to up the dose or go on to a different medication I don't want to I do not want opiates. Now, I'm not saying there's anything against opiates. You have a legit legitimate medical reason to use them and they work for you. By all means, 100% use them. However, I do think um, for my situation, it is better for me and my body if, um, using the more of the cannabis as opposed to medications. Um, so I'm scared. I'm scared about finding a doctor out there that will prescribe me these medications. Um, my husband at the moment does not have a job waiting for him, so it's going to take a little bit for me to get insurance, for our family to get insurance, and for me to be able to see a doctor. However, I am going to see my doctor before I leave so that I have um, basically a four month supply. I get the, the original script and then three refills on each medication. Um, so I'm going to do that. So hopefully, fingers crossed. stressed and I'm trying 
my pain levels have not been, they've been manageable, but I really need to wean myself back. Uh, lower doses of the tramadol and I keep starting that and then something comes up and I have to take my full dose again for like a week and then I have to start all over again because it just doesn't work as well as it's supposed to so dealing with that and trying to pack it's it's just it's not working for my body and and I'm just I get I'm getting really overwhelmed try these, these little hair ties, these little spiral hair ties. 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, I gotta unload these groceries. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna post this. If I decide to, then obviously you're seeing it. If not, then I'm the only one that gets to see it. But yeah. Um, I have another, I have two more videos, recipe videos that I'm gonna try um, posting one this week and one next week. Like I said in my neat loaf video, I'm gonna try once a week to upload a recipe video. So I've got two that I've already filmed. I just need to edit and upload. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. And otherwise, I am here to talk anytime you need. Message me, um, comment down below. If there's anything you'd like to see from me or anything you wanna know about me, feel free to ask. I am seriously an open book to anybody that wants to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day, a good week, uh, low stress, low pain. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.